Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. Okay, so we're going to start off by using this Disney Major Arcana deck that I use Pinterest and Canva to create. The first card we have here is the High Priestess. I love her so much. I love this card. Yeah. Um, high Priestess. There is a really, really deep telepathic connection between the both of you, okay? You can feel each other's energies um, like without even trying. I feel like you have felt this person's energies every time you saw their name pop up or the model or make of their car or maybe the profession that they're in or something that reminded you of them, they were thinking about you, okay? And I feel like they also see... Um, you know, your name a lot or signs of you a lot, or if you have like a really unique name, like they see um, something that reminds them of you. Maybe it's like a song that you listen to or a certain artist that you talked about, or maybe they see like, uh, you know, if you're into astrology or tarot, like they'll see crystals and think of you. Yeah. Um, I am seeing though, like maybe for some of you, you have been able to feel this person's energy a little bit less and less. Like I do feel like you are still energetically connected, but maybe it wasn't as intense as it used to be. And that's because they're going through a tower moment. I feel like um, there's something major that's going on in their life. And I, I feel like this is something that they kind of needed or like it, it was coming for a long time. And I'm seeing that this is something that is really helping get out any sort of self-sabotaging tendencies here, you know, with the hanged man. Um, any sort of like bad habits this person was engaging in like sometimes you know this could have to do with like being a workaholic or drinking too much or addiction or whatever it was that you know was kind of um not benefiting this person and maybe even affected this person i really feel like a lot of that is completely you know being like they're, they're transforming like I, I feel like these bad habits are completely being like obliterated and you know they they want to be a better version of themselves they want to be the best most healthiest version of themselves and I'm seeing that maybe for a lot of you if they're not in your life right now it's really a blessing in disguise because I really do feel like whatever they're going through is definitely something they need to address on their own it is a little bit like you know intense even and I feel like you know this person definitely doesn't want to burden you but what I'm seeing is uh, re reality can sometimes, or not reality, but like social media, et cetera, can sometimes be fake, okay? If this person is like, you know, posting about having fun or maybe they're like following new people or something like that, I'm not necessarily seeing that, you know, they're getting anything out of that or like they're really having fun because I'm seeing they really miss you. They see you as this high priestess energy. They see you as someone who's really evolved, someone who's really smart, someone who, um, you know, has a lot of depth. And, you know, if they are pursuing, you know, other people or other connections, you know, you see them follow a bunch of people i'm not seeing like you know they're even connecting with anyone because they're so connected to you i'm even seeing that maybe you could have tried going on dates with other people maybe you follow more people on social media but it's like your mind always went back to them your heart always went back to them it's like you know you tried with these other people but it's like it just made you like your person more and they're going through the same thing okay i really do feel like for a lot of you this is some sort of like um you know soul tie or like or past life connection here okay I, I feel like you know someone's there are a lot of instances of past life connections in astrology like if your sun sign is like their south node or vice versa because south node represents who you were in a past life um yeah i mean you can definitely look that up but i i do see that you know they find you to be really intriguing, even mysterious. Like they're really enamored by your energy. And I do feel like at times, you know, they've kept themselves at a little bit of a distance just because, um, you know, they know that you are like perfection. They know that you are magnetic, that you are radiant, that, um, you know, if, anyone were to be with you, they would have to be with you fully. Like, you know, this person knows that, you know, if, they, if they're in your life, they got to treat you like this high priestess energy, not just, you know, anyone. So I do feel like maybe at times they could have, you know, pursued other connections just because it was easier or maybe they felt more control or power over their over those connections but with you it's different. Like you completely changed the game for them. I am seeing that, you know, they're very, very like they find you to be really alluring, even addicted, even like obsessive. I do feel like there's a little bit of obsessive energy coming through here. Some Mars energy for sure. Aries, Scorpio, I'm getting Pisces energy. Yeah. Um, but let's go ahead and pick some tarot cards to see what messages we have here. Yeah, some more Aries energy coming in the fool. This person definitely wants a new beginning with you. I do see that this person um, thinks about you a lot, fantasizes about you. They're really passionate about you, passionate about this connection. We got justice. So this person is coming back. Oh my gosh. I feel like, you know, this person is going to come back and make you a solid, steady, stable offer. I feel like for a lot of you, it's not a matter of if, but when. So I feel like this person's going to come back. You know, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to be in like, 
that honeymoon phase, that, you know, romantic phase where you're just like enjoying each other's energies, um, you know, company, all that. And then, you know, this person with this justice card is going to try and make things more official. They're going to be like, you know what? I want more with you. I want more in this connection. You know, let's let's do something. Let, let's you and me. Let's make this work. I really, really do feel like this person is very attracted to you, attracted to your energy. And like, you know, they feel like you're it. They feel like you're the one like this high priestess is giving very much like, you know, like wife energy, husband energy, girlfriend, boyfriend energy. So I'm seeing something about wanting to make it official or taking things to the next level. Okay, so that's really exciting. We got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I am seeing that there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of things coming to light. I feel like this person has been thinking about this connection more critically. They have been, um, you know, thinking deeper about love, life, relationships, and thinking about who it is that they really want, what it is that they really want in their future. And the person that constantly kept popping up in their head is you. Like you just constantly kept, you know, like every time they thought about their future, like they would see your face. They would see, they would like envision a future with you, okay? And I just feel like there's a lot that's coming to light, a lot of clarity as well. Okay, I feel like this person's going to be giving you clarity on what they've been doing, you know, um, what's been happening right now in their life okay this tower moment hang man i feel like you know this person's going to come back a newer better improved version of themselves and it's going to be really exciting it's going to be really good for you I, I really do feel like for a lot of you you're um about to really experience the best like the best of this relationship i feel like the best days haven't even happened yet um yeah, and they also think that you're really smart and educated on you know, a variety of topics. Like you have a way with words, um, something about the way that you talk, you communicate, your voice, the things that you're into. Like I feel like this person finds you to be really, really intelligent and they're also really passionate like passionate about you. Like they feel like you're everything, like your beauty, brains, you know, you have a lot of depth. And like with this justice card, I'm seeing commitment. I'm seeing like maybe they weren't really ready at the time, but like it's that had nothing to do with you, that had more to do with them and what, you know, um, was going on in their life personally i do feel like you know maybe this person does have like a pretty hectic job or you know they're really like busy with certain um aspects of their life they have a lot to like juggle and balance okay but i feel like you're their dream come true like you're you're literally like the last piece the missing puzzle piece yeah um i am channeling some songs here i don't know why i'm channeling like bruno mars i want to be a billionaire so freaking bad i would catch a grenade for you um yeah, I was channeling so many songs before this reading, but I swear, whenever it comes to like thinking of songs, I always like, I always forget when it comes to the reading, but I'm also seeing, um, I don't know why, but I'm channeling like 90s, 2000 songs. Uh, what, what's that song? A few times have been around that track, but it's not gonna happen like that. Ain't no holla back girl. Maybe if you hear that song, I feel like this person's gonna, you know, like come forward or and give you a message or it's a sign that they're thinking about you i know that's such a random song it's not even like a love song gwen stefani yeah um but i am seeing like you know this person sees you as like that it person like you know you're iconic you're maybe a trendsetter like you're just um someone that a lot of people love being around i feel like maybe this person thinks you're really popular you have a lot of friends you have a lot of good things going on in your life and you know they want to be around you so many people want to be around your energy because you're very very magnetic captivating enticing well, let's go and pick some love oracle cards yeah by the way i'm getting a lot of air sign energy aries or yeah i'm definitely getting aries energy that's not an air sign that's a fire sign gemini aquarius libra especially libra here a lot of pisces energy and scorpio as well sun moon rising venus someone could have at least one of these placements in their big three or big four you inspire me so much you are my muse yeah this person again finds you to be really smart and like you know they kind of even want to be like you that's one of the reasons they want to be around your energy you really motivate them and hype them up i want you to be happy even if that means being without me yeah i can't help mentioning you to my close friends and family members like they have talked about you maybe they've even asked um other people about you like advice on like how to get closer to you or how to come forward or like they've told you they've told other people about you i'm definitely seeing that they've shown a picture of you to someone that they're close with that their friends know about you for sure um we also got i want you to be yeah okay i already said that let's go and pick some more cards this person definitely wants you but they also do wish the best for you again they see you as this high priestess energy there's a lot of like love and respect here i don't trust easily but with you i feel so safe and accepted yeah you have that energy to you where you make other people feel safe and secure your body is a piece of art and your soul a piece of heaven yeah this person is like holistically attracted to you they love your body they love your mind they love like who you are as a person okay they feel like you have a lot of depth and like they really want more with you I'm 
I'm seeing that there's a lot of abundance coming in this connection. Okay, again, the best days haven't even happened yet. And you and this person, I feel like, you know, going from the fool to the justice, I, I really do feel like this is something that's going to turn into something more serious and committed down the line. So yeah. Okay, anyways, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. I really, really hope this helps. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. Um, I also want to let you know that I offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching. And I also custom make subliminal. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you can sign up for them. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.